guys. Um, I am parked at the uh, Reproductive Science Center and I'm about to go in for my mock transfer appointment. What is a mock transfer? Because I didn't do this last time. So the way they described it to me is that it's just like the transfer day except there's no baby, no embryo. So what that means to me is I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna get in the stirrups and they are gonna put the tube up into my cervix because they said they wanna make sure that they know what the pathway is in case there's any weird turns or speed bumps, <laughs> I don't know. I'll let you know if it's different than that. And I am wearing my embryo ember necklace, if you don't know. I made a necklace that it looks like a little embryo, a five-day blastocyst. I made them because my baby Holly inspired me during my last transfer. So, because they give you the little picture of the embryo when they're doing the transfer and I just loved it so much and then it inspired me that I felt like people would want to wear something like this to represent their journey to motherhood, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be IVF, but... Okay, I'll catch you on the flip side. So we are doing this COVID style for baby number three. So I'm just sitting here waiting. Got the monitor. And we'll see, hopefully I can still video when she comes in. They're gonna measure the very top of my uterus because that's where they put the catheter all the way up to the very top to put the embryo in. And that they're gonna measure whatever they need to measure up there and that's it okay so they did not want me to video um, but it was super easy and it was kind of funny and it, it was really easy actually like I did not feel anything so I just got undressed waist down and they put the little catheter in there and I guess it had a ruler on it and they said that after birth your uterus can actually grow so last time three years ago before my second pregnancy i measured at seven and today i measured at eight so there you go and now it's documented seven to eight 